Welcome to our daily reflection from St. Dennis Lisvane. Do you remember the Simon and Garfunkel song, Hello Darkness, My Old Friend? Well, I was reading Psalm 88 this morning, and I reckon that's where they got the title for the song from. This is how Psalm 88 ends. Darkness is my closest friend. As we read through the book of Psalms, there are lots of psalms of lament. Psalms where the writer of the psalm is going through a really hard time and just pouring out their hearts to God. But very often there's an uplifting ending. There's a ray of hope at some point in the psalm. But Psalm 88 is quite different. It's really quite a bleak psalm. It ends on that note. Darkness is my closest friend. As we read through it, we don't know exactly what the psalmist's problem was but he describes how from his youth he has suffered and been close to death how he has borne God's terrors and is in despair how God's wrath has swept over him his terrors have destroyed him it's a really unremitting psalm so what hope is there in this psalm what hope is there for us if we feel that we're in a comparable situation where day after day it seems that life just doesn't change. We feel as, as if we are also in the pit of despair. Well, there are two things to take courage from in this psalm. Firstly, the psalmist recognises the hand of God's sovereignty. He sees that actually God is behind all that he is experiencing. And that gives him hope because it means that he can pray to God and ask him to deliver him. And that's how the psalm begins. Lord, you are the God who saves me. Day and night I cry out to you. And then later on in verse 13, I cry to you for help, Lord. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Even in the darkest of times, even when it feels as if there is no hope, what should we do? Keep crying out to God because he is the only one who can save us and he's the only one who can save us because he is sovereign over all our circumstances. And you might say, well, yes, but how can I know that he really cares about me? Well, then we need to look to the cross because at the cross, God himself laid down his life for you. That's how much he cares for you. So let's cry out to him, even in the darkest of times. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that even when we find ourselves in the pit of despair, we can call out to you in prayer. We thank you that you hear our prayers and that you answer them. And Lord, we pray for your mercy in those times. We pray that you would come and rescue us as this psalmist prays. And we pray that you would give us the faith to continually cry out to you until you come and deliver us from all of our darkness and all of our fears. In Jesus' name. Amen.